Hey, welcome to 209coach.com. I want to do this video for you today with Michaela Enfield from uh, Florida State. She's just an amazing, just an amazing, powerful hitter. And I'm going to just explain to you what she does. And I guarantee that if you apply what she does in her swing, it will help you to improve your power, improve your slugging percentage. It will help you to improve your hitting mechanics. Overall, you will definitely become a better hitter. Now, one of the things that you'll notice if you watch my videos, that, that it doesn't matter if it's an NCAA softball player, elite softball player, or MLB player, they pretty much all apply a very similar moves, very similar moves on what they're doing. And my purpose for my channel is to help players, to help whether you're a softball or whether you're a baseball player, to improve your mechanics, to help you to get to another level. So let's get started on this video so I can explain to you what, what's going on here, okay? Now, what you see with the best players in the world, you're going to always see that they're going to be very comfortable at the setup. And by that, I mean you're going to see that they're going to be very relaxed with the arms, okay, at the setup. You want to make sure your arms are very relaxed. Now, this is not direct off the side batter's box view. Her hands right now are pretty much right in front of her shoulder between her neck and her deltoid. And another thing you're going to notice with the best hitters in the world, you're going to see they're going to have a lot of flexion in their arms. In other words, they're not going to be ramrod straight. They're not going to be... Uh, out towards the catcher more like you see with a lot of players the arms are going to have a lot of flexion like you see here with Michaela another thing you're going to see they're going to have a very good foundation where the knees will be outside of the shoulders and the feet outside of the knees this is going to give you a great stability so you can use your lower body correctly now watch what's going on right here and I bring this up in my videos all the time watch what's going on with her tailbone again if you watch my videos I bring this up all the time because this is what the best players do in the world this is what the most powerful hitters do from softball to baseball the most elite players and again there's a reason why they do this this helps you to coil the back leg helps you to coil the back hip so her watch the tailbone tailbone is rotating the tailbone is working towards the pitcher. This is going to allow you to be able to coil the back leg, the back hip. Now, simultaneously, watch what's going on as she's doing this move. At the same time, watch how her top hand, okay, her top hand is working up, back, and behind her. Okay, up, back, and behind her. So what I would like you to do is grab a bat and try this yourself. Grab a bat. Just put your hands between your neck and your deltoid. If you want to you have your hands low or high, it does not matter. Just start pretty much very relaxed. Now, as soon as you lift your leg, I want you to coil, rotate your hips, and just really try to rotate them and get your tailbone almost like it's facing the pitcher. Now, what you want to feel here is you want to feel like 90, 100% of your weight is on your back leg, your back hip, and as you're applying this coil, as you're applying this torque, I want you to get your top hand and just let it pull back and behind you where your back elbow is working back and behind you. Now you can see here that her back elbow is higher than her hands. Now your hands should be pretty much right around the height of your armpit. Now some players have their hands a little higher than that, some have them a little lower. As long as it's in that general area, you're going to be fine. But the key here is as you lift your front leg, you want to rotate your hips. So now watch your tailbone. Watch how her tailbone, how her hips are rotating towards the pitcher. And again, simultaneously, the top hand pullback. Now, the top hand pullback is not anything abrupt, and you want to do it with very smooth tempo, just like this. Very smooth tempo. You don't want it to be abrupt. In other words, you want to control your stride. You want to control your body. And the best way to do that is to coil the back leg, coil the back hip, coil the upper body. And if you do this, this particular move, by coiling the hip and getting that pullback, you're going to have tremendous torque. It's going to be like a rubber band being stretched. Now, as you do this move, I want you just to kind of stop at toe touch and just look in the mirror. Do this in front of a mirror. Now, when you stop, you should kind of have a look like this. Now, the checkpoint for this for you would be have a kind of a shoulder to shoulder to elbow look. Your elbow does not have to be as high as Michaela's is right here, but you definitely want to have your back shoulder working up, back, and behind you, okay? Another thing you're going to see here, and watch what's going on right here. She goes to look at her lead arm, just like I said, very relaxed. You want to go from having a very a lot of flexion in the lead arm as set up, so when you get to toe touch, just like she's doing right here, watch what's going on with her lead arm. Now she goes from a lot of flexion 
to minimal flexion of her lead arm. Now, another thing to check for at this uh, stage of the swing, you want your, uh, your hands should be right over your shoelaces. Now, at the gather, they should be in front of the foot, and by the time you get to the full pullback at toe touch, it should be at the shoelaces. The reason it goes from here to here is because of the pullback. Now, you don't want your hands way out here behind your foot. That creates extra frames. So the checkpoint, again, you want to make sure that when you're doing this, do it in front of a mirror, and you want to make sure that you're applying that hip coil, watch the hip, and the pullback at the same time. Now, another thing you want to do is you want to take this to the next level. As you uh, stop right here, start to give, really get your hips to start thrusting. So, in other words, what I would like you to do is feel, once you have this load, once you feel this coil, feel like somebody is kind of a tailboning you right here, right here and thrusting your back hip where you're using your, that coil, that wound up torque from the pullback from the hip coil. And you're going to feel like this part of your body is just kind of a, just bumping out there and exploding through the ball. That's kind of what you want to feel. But as you get into this move, okay, as you get into this hip coil and the pullback right here, you're going to see that if you do this move, you're going to feel such coils, such tremendous power in your, in your body. You probably have never felt it before if you've never done this. But the key is, again, smooth tempo, and you want to make sure that you're coiling the hip. One more thing here I want to bring up to you. Pay attention to her hands right now. Her hands right now is pointing right now, for example, her palm, okay? You can see that her palm, is very obvious that her palm is facing towards the pitcher right now. Now, watch what happens to her top hand because of the pullback. It, I always tell my students, it's almost like you're spilling the cup. Watch what's going on with her palm now. You see that? Watch what happens. It goes from being vertical to almost being horizontal as she gets into her pullback. Now, this is a very important move for power. It's a very important move to get guaranteed power is to make that top hand just kind of work from vertical to being pointing downward. Now, some players even get it down here and some players are over here. But as long as you're in this kind of general area, what that's going to produce for you is going to allow your bat to be perfectly right here where it's facing in this direction right here. That's what you want. Many times with players, when they get to the toe touch area like she is right now, the bat is facing this way even this way sometimes that shows me that you're not applying any pullback you're not applying any torque you're not applying the mechanics that you see with the best players in the world now watch what happens right here she gets into toe touch pay attention to her bat notice how her bat still continues to point towards the pitcher I mean, i'm sorry towards the catcher in other words what she's doing right now she's maintaining the pullback deep into her, her, her thrust of her hips. She's maintaining the pullback so that her hands work right around the corner of the deltoid, allowing the bat speed to be right behind her. Now watch what's going on with her, with her bat. The bat speed is behind her. This is what you see with the best players in the world. Now watch her back elbow. See how her back elbow stays either in line or behind her hands? The only way this can occur is if you apply continuous pullback. This is going to give you a beautiful bat path. It's going to allow you to have tremendous bat speed behind your body, not where your hands cut across your body. This is what the best players do in the world. Now, as you're getting into this move right here, while you're continuing your pullback, okay, as you continue your pullback, you want immediately, as you thrust your hips towards the pitcher, you want your lead elbow to work up to the height of the mouth and keep the barrel below the hands. Now,